Mm -hmm. uh, these plants are indeterminate. You see the way they grow. Mm -hmm. um, they grow tall, and so we have to support them with the, mm -hmm. the trellising twine, mm -hmm. which gives them the support to grow and the fruit. In fact, these ones are semi-determinate. Um, that's because you don't see them growing so tall, but the very uh, indeterminate ones, you see them almost reaching to the roof of the greenhouse. This is the instrument we use to apply fertilizer. It is called the Venturi Fertigation Pump. of infestation yes so how do you able to manage it we 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 have had infestation what we do is to regularly spray and most times in order to avoid the harsh impact of such infestations yeah. we do it as a preventive measure yeah. okay so we don't wait until the situation comes then we begin to treat okay. but we do it regularly to prevent so um, every week we we carry out routine um, spray okay. yes, just to prevent some of those things but for the ones that the infestation enters yeah. then we make it more uh, more consistent yes it's on greenhouse that's where we grow our seedlings okay. when we plant the seeds we take them into that propagation greenhouse just so that they can have the convenience of space to grow effectively so once they begin to sprout then we take them from the propagation house and transplant them into the green into the green farm. My name is Salu Zeneb Idris from Federal College of Forestry, just pest management technology department. We are here on field trip. What we have seen today, okay, it makes us happy and is amazing. And most of us are planning to try our small farming at home. So I, I guess maybe they expected that you would have brought some feed for them from the School of Forestry. Yes. But unfortunately for them, what, in what stage do you treat the pond? Um, so when you get the pond newly, mm -hmm. it's advisable to treat because you know when it comes in, there are some um, chemical effects still on the product. Mm. Like this is a trampoline. Mm. So there are a lot of things that were that constitute the chemicals they made the trampolines with. So we try to treat it. What we do is to take a sack of um, the droppings. So we tie it in that and then drop it into a fresh water that we just introduced to the new pond. So we allow it for like four days and we take it out. So it gives it that natural, the natural feel for the fish when they come in. So the fish will now be deceived to think that they are in maybe in a pond or one nice place. Just my name is um, Solomon Madrako from a Federal College of Forestry, Crop Production Technology Department. Um, from what we have seen, is really impressive and we are glad that we are here. And uh, from what we have seen and the ones who have been taught in the class, so the, the combination of both, we know that we can make a positive impact to the society. So we grow the maggots from the droppings again of either the birds or the pigs. You allow them for some time, those um, flies come and make their eggs, yes. and the eggs transform into the worms, yes. and then we harvest it, we dry it, and from there we feed the, the fish one. They are very excited to have very natural, <laughs> natural protein. These few hours that we've spent um, was quite enlightening, and um, it has shifted our mindset on agriculture in general and uh, we promised that we're going to involve ourselves in more of agriculture and then um, apply all the things that we learned here today. Thank you very much. So we are very excited to see this farm and how they manage it because the management is what matters. From uh, fl uh, flowers, that is floriculture, fishery, and even poultry. It's a very, very hard task. So we are very happy to to visit this farm. Thank you. First of all, we went to the tomato farm where we learned about different varieties and different species. Then we went down to the fishery department and then as a horticulturist and a landscaper, 
I have learned how to arrange different plants and how plants can be because they are modernized farmers and we have learned how to we have learned that they are stickings and boarding grafting methods that we can use to improve their local method also we also have um, when we learned how to recycle products that no product on the farm is waste um, every product we get on the farm is actually very, very useful. And we led the team to this particular farm. And we are very happy to be here. At least we have learned a lot, particularly the greenhouse farming. And I believe what students have learned, they will put it to use in the near future. But they are, the setting of the farm is okay. We will encourage the management of the farm to try to see if they can go into organic production. Because the the life expectancy of human are, is reducing due to the usage of our pesticides and insecticides used in farming generally. But the entire world is encouraging organic farming because if you do that, uh, the, the life expectancy is extended to some extent. So uh, we have we have learned a lot, just like I've said. And as we are going back, we are taking a lot back to our schools. And what we have seen here. We we'll try to practicalize them with the students on our farms. Thank you.